Knowledge Classing is one of the features just approved by the TC39 committee and in this video we're going to show you how to use it. If you like the video make sure you like and subscribe and now let's jump in. If you could make a new feature for JavaScript what would it be? Leave it in a comment below with what and why. When I'm looking at a new feature, I usually look at the MDN docs to get some good samples. Hopefully this video will be good enough for you to get started, but if you need some more details, make sure you head over there. Knowledge coalescing fixes a defaulting problem a lot of us can run into, and you know, that means more bugs. So let's look at a sample of, you, of the OR operators and show you how we can fix some of the issues using the knowledge coalescing. So, in this sample, we have a function to get settings and it returns settings. So this is a way of, say, add on, adding some custom settings. And say a normal thing we do is when we're expecting an object is we might, say, set some defaults in case a property doesn't exist. So on this one, we're saying if there's no settings.delay passed in, let's give it 250 milliseconds as a default. On the text, we're saying let's give it some dummy text. And for always on, we're just going to give it a null value. Okay, and I've set this up to run through Babel because Node currently doesn't support this. Okay, so it's running there and I'm just pretty printing it out here with a little bit of JSON to stringify. So you can see the results coming out here. So what happens when I try to start adding some features to this? Well, say let's first put on the delay. What would happen if we wanted zero as our delay in our settings? So let's try it out. And let's pass it through and we get 250. And that's because in the OR operators, it only checks for falsy values. With the knowledge coalescing, we will check only for null and undefined values. So that means we can still pass falsy values and things like this, which might be a useful default, could fall through. So let's just change this around and show you what happens when we just swap this with two question marks. That's the syntax for the knowledge coalescing. Okay, cool. So now we get the zero instead of the default 250. And let's just show you a couple more samples of this. So say we want text to be an empty string here. Okay, but we're actually getting dummy text. So let's fix that with Awesome, now we have the empty text. So the always on one, let's say we would normally say that this would be true or false. So let's put in false here just to see I, I don't think we'd ever really we probably have a, a a backup of false here but let's just put it in anyway and as you can see it falls true to the null so let's change that again and now we get false so before we had this, we would have to put a lot of kind of conditional checks to see, you know, if the type is of Boolean and it's not null, you know, this kind of takes out a lot of complexity from checking or setting default values. So just to summarize, when you're using uh, this feature, it will check for either an undefined or a null value. So don't forget to subscribe and I hope I see you in the next video. And until then, happy coding.